Welcome back. According to the CIA, Nicaragua is the poorest country in Central America and the second poorest Western Hemisphere. Access to proper medical care is a luxury and depends on outside organizations to donate their services. Dr. Del Schutte is the executive director of U.S. Team Walk Nicaragua, and Sarah Voges is the organization's orthopedic nurse practitioner. And thank you for being here. This is a wonderful organization. Oh, thanks for having me. How did us. you get started? There are a number of projects around the country, part of what's called Operation Walk, which allows uh, the opportunity for teams and physicians to give back, to, to take what we do to other people who would never have a chance. You know, in the U.S., it's a very competitive market, and there's lots of marketing and advertising. And, and some of these countries have, you know, one physician per million people, orthopedic physicians. So, so there's an incredible need, and we uh, found a, a, a partner in One World Health, mm -hmm. who, which is a local based organization mm -hmm. that work out of Uganda and Nicaragua primarily but all over and we had first gone with a team to Panama we took a whole team nurses anesthesia therapists wow. uh, to Panama where we did I think 20 or 30 knee replace knee and hip replacements there mm -hmm. and then we found an opportunity an orthopedic surgeon that comes to a meeting we put on here in the town of Esteli, Nicaragua, and they had the needs, so uh, Sarah worked tirelessly, and we, we put together the whole team. We bring absolutely everything, the Band-Aids, the bandages, the anesthesia equipment. Oh, it's a group of about 30 people, and, and we've had it. A lot of patients have been really helpful and really energized. We took one gentleman who was six weeks out from his hip replacement here in the States, oh. came and brought his daughter to help. And, and really? So it's a good experience for kids, too, to get to know what absolutely. medicine is like like and to give you know give them a sense of service and it yeah. helps them fulfill some of the high school uh, service requirements. Did you know about how impoverished Nicaragua was before you went there? We really didn't. Nicaragua was a fascinating country and mm -hmm. we spent a lot of time learning about the history mentioned it's one of the poorest countries people think it's one of the most dangerous but it's actually quite a bit safer than really? uh, I think Costa Rica mm -hmm. definitely safer than Honduras uh, we did some work in Honduras which was in Tegucigalpa which was really tough mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't leave the room but Nicaragua was a very safe country they have uh, a very low tolerance for the drug traffic and the people are absolutely wonderful and I'm sure incredibly grateful for your services as well so mm -hmm. as a nurse practitioner uh, Sarah, tell me a bit about your experience going. Well, um, my role in the trip is I um, kind of direct the op clinical operations. So I help establish all of the logistics. I recruit the teams, do all the credentialing work. And while I'm there, of course, I assist Dr. Shudi with the surgeries. Mm -hmm. So um, it's great to be able to get back and to have a higher purpose with my job. Um, and it's great to get the feedback from the patients I take care of saying that we were the answers to their prayers. And so it's a really big... Um, honor to be there and be able to do this work. When them. you became a nurse, did you ever imagine that you'd be going to foreign countries and doing this kind of work? Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why I chose the profession I'm in, because I knew it was versatile and I could do things like this, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm just grateful to have the opportunity, because it's not every day that you get to be able to go overseas. Most definitely, and, and this organization has been around since 2015. How many surgeries have you performed just so far? You just came back from your so, fourth trip, is that right? Right, we're almost yeah. at 100. I think we're at 96 or 96. Seven. Uh, so we did a few trips to find out what the logistics were and what we needed, and then we've done uh, three full-on trips. Mm -hmm. And it's actually it's it's a very popular trip. People want to go. Of course, there's a lot of work that's done, as yeah. Sarah can tell you, to get ready to go. But we really feel fortunate, as someone said. It's an it's such a, a blessing to be able to give rather than to to receive. And and we find that everybody that goes gets far more out of it than they ever give. Yeah, and it's really an incredible. But that's something. That that's something that a lot of people do yeah. say, isn't it? Um, now, as far as uh, medicine is concerned, you typically tend to hear about a lot of the internal medicine uh, doctors who are going to these foreign countries or, you know, the cleft palates and things like that. Um, why orthopedics? Well, I th orthopedics in general is a difference maker. There's a, a, ta a TED Talk by Ed O'Brien called I Wish I Had a Broken Leg. And it basically focuses on the fact that there's all, a lot of money for malaria and AIDS and all these different things. But if the primary breadwinner for a house, which can be two or three generations, longitudinal and horizontal, has a broken leg or crippling arthritis, that disrupts the income and the financial stability of a large group. And there are very few organizations that are 
dedicated to that on a global scale. Mm -hmm. So part of the Operation Walk and, and Walk Nicaragua and now One World Health is to be able to provide that that person who many times is either a primary caretaker or a breadwinner to mm -hmm. allow them to get back to a functional status. That's very interesting. All right, well, we need to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to continue our chat with Dr. Shudi and Nurse Voges and also still